for Hillsborough County. In a sea of blue, a white shirt stood out in a crowd of law enforcement officers on Thursday at Tampa Police Headquarters. It's two different agencies, but we're one team or one goal. Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan honored Hillsborough County Deputy William Scobie for stepping outside his patrol lines to help find an accused murderer. Lo and behold, the crazy incident happens where somebody veers off the street on purpose and runs these kids over. On Sunday, June 24th, 42-year-old Pedro Aguaberry and his sons, 3-year-old Bennett and 8-year-old Lucas, were riding bikes on a paved path alongside New Tampa Boulevard when police say Mykeese Morse intentionally drove into the family, killing Aguaberry and injuring his boys. That uh, accident actually occurred in my neighborhood where I live, about a block away from my house. Morse fled the scene, but Deputy Scobie heard what happened and quickly located Morse's vehicle within blocks of his home. Scobie didn't realize at the time of this accident just how closely he was linked to it. Not only is he familiar with the area, he also knew the victims. I did Boy Scouts with the father and the family, so I was familiar. It, it felt really good uh, personally as well as professionally to be able to help out in any way that we could. Morse was found, arrested, and charged with premeditated first-degree murder. <laughs> Scobie's quick thinking earned him the Chief's Appreciation Award presented to him alongside Sheriff Chad Cronister. Sheriff Cronister says the incident is an example of how critical it is for local law enforcement to work to together. Safe. We never saw jurisdictional boundaries. And our residents don't either. They don't know, okay, listen, I just crossed Fowler Avenue. I must be in the county. They don't see that. They know that they live in Tampa, Florida. They want to feel safe and they want to be safe. And I commend all of you for, for making them safe. For the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, I'm Crystal Clark.